Hello everybody and welcome to the class once again. I hope that you are all gaining from these classes and learning something new, practicing what you are learning in class over here, practicing all the conversation that we do over here and trying to speak as much Japanese as you can. So well, today also we will do something new. We will do some new kanjis, new verb forms and lot of new vocabulary. But before that, as always, we will go over the assignments that I had given you. So well, let us see what the assignments were. The first assignment was, take the appropriate word from the brackets. So well, the first one is oikutsu. Rao san wa oikutsu desu ka. Now, ikutsu is also given over here. Ikutsu means number and the moment you put oikutsu, oikutsu is polite for age as I had told you earlier. So well, rao san wa oikutsu desu ka. Rao san, how old are you? Then we have the next one. Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Not itta because it is ashita and not ikanai. Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Then asoko no kata wa donata desu ka? You could also use dare over here but donata again is polite because Kata is here. Kata is again polite for hito. So well, asoko no kata wa donata desu ka? And you could also add sama over here after donata. That would make it even more polite and tene. Then we have Rao san wa doko no chokureto tabeta ka? Doko is where? From where? Tabe mashita ka, plain form tabeta. Tanaka san no kaisha wa otaku kara chikai desu ka? Otaku is again polite for uchi. My house, one's own house is uchi and someone else's house is otaku. You will never say watashi no otaku wa Eki kara chikai desu. Watashi no uchi wa eki kara chikai desu. Kono jitensha wa benri desu. It is a convenient cycle. Mondai wa muzukashi desu. Hito is kashikoi, which is intelligent. Mondai could be kantan. Mondai could be muzukashi desu. Mondai wa kantan desu. Mondai wa muzukashi desu. So you could have kantan, you could have muzukashi. Mondai wa kantan na mondai desu. So well, as we do not have na over here, you may or may not use kantan. Mainichi doko de shokuji wo shimasu ka? Doko is where and de, place de action wo shimasu. Well, the second assignment is fill in the blanks with appropriate particles. So, you have to fill particles over here. Let us see what the particles are. Rao san wa toki doki Shokudo de tabemasu, as I told you just now in the previous uh, exercise. Kino watashi wa Rao san ni aimashita. Ni over here is for aimas, aimas will take particle ni. Then Tokyo wa Nihon no shuto desu. Nihon no of. Shuto is capital. Kesa oto san to Tennis o shimashita. Oto san to issho ni or oto san to tennis with my father. Watashi wa mai asa uchi de shimbun o yomimasu. 
I read the paper every day at home. Then we have Rao san wa shumatsu ni nani wo shimasu ka? Shumatsu is time expression. So, with time expression it is always ni. Then we have watashi no haha wa daigaku ni hataraki masu. Then imoto san wa itsu amerika e irashai masu ka? Irashai masu again is polite for ikimasu or kimasu as we have done earlier. Well, now we have some kanji practice for you. The first word is sensei. Let us see what it is. Sen se. Then we have kyo. Then we have umu. These two are different, though look very similar, but very, very different. This is umu. Umu is to be born. This character itself means to give birth to. Then ashita, ashita. Kaimas. Of course, these two are again different, though look similar. Kaimas. Hanashimas. Kyujitsu. Kyujitsu is a yasumi day. This is yasumi, this is yasumi day. A holiday. Gonin. This is also go, this is also go, and this is also go. Go nin for person. Then kesa. Today, Well, the fourth one is change verb form to te kudasai and nai de kudasai. Please do and please do not do. So, koko de shashin o toranai de kudasai. Kono gyu niu o non de kudasai. Koko no computer o tsukawanai de kudasai. And please, for computers, it is computer. Please try to get the correct pronunciation because it is very difficult if it is not pronounced properly, it is not understood. Atsui kara mado o akete kudasai. Oki koe de hanasanai de kudasai. Minasan koko ni kaite kudasai. Abunai kara koko ni Tatanai de kudasai. Abunai is dangerous. Tatanai de kudasai means please do not stand. It is a request to do as the verb is saying. Samui kara doa o akenai de kudasai. Please do not open. There is more practice for you. You can practice this as well. Someone is running, Tanaka san is going away in a big hurry looking at his watch. So, isogimasu, isoide kudasai. Isogu is the verb. Then, torimasu, toru, totte kudasai. Norikaemasu, norikaeru, norikaete kudasai. Norikai mas means to change from one mode of transport to another mode. Then, mite kudasai, minai de kudasai, mimas, and the verb is miru. Suwanai de kudasai, su is the verb s u u to smoke. Sutte kudasai and suwanai de kudasai. Sui mas in mas form. So, well, this was for you in plain form, mas form, te kudasai form, 
ないでください。So you can make sentences with this. Use these words and try to make sentences. Making sentences is very good because it helps you in conversation. So don't think that making sentences is very childish. You are in class one and you are making sentences. No, this gradually will help you in talking in your conversation. Now, if you remember, we had done kureru and kuda saru in our previous lesson somewhere. Well, kureru and kuda saru. Kureru and kuda saru. Gomenasai. Kuda saru. We will practice this today over here. You can see on the slide, you can see a lot of words written okasan, sensei, bucho, tomodachi. Then you have hon, jisho, fuku, toke, presento, seta, and kureru and kuda saru. So, well, we can practice right away. Okasan wa watashi ni toke o kure mashita. Okasan or otosan or sensei, bucho, any of these wa watashi ni watashi ni toke. Hon, shōsetsu, o kuremashita. Any combination you can make and okasan wa watashi ni okane o kuremashita. Otousan wa watashi ni shōsetsu o kuremashita. Bucho wa watashi ni wine o kuremashita. So, any of these you can use and you can make sentences, ask your partner and answer. Over here you can see there is one more. Sensei wa watashi ni jibiki o kuremashita. Sensei gave a jibiki to me and a jibiki is a reference book. There is another one. Okasan wa watashi ni okane o kuremashita. Okasan gave okane to me. So, when someone who is senior to you, when someone who is older to you gives something to you, then it is always kure mas because of your position. Then we have, now we will do something new. Nani o shite imasu ka? This is something new today. You have done the te form earlier, but with kudasai. We will do with imas over here. Now, first, before we do any explanation, let us listen to this radio conversation and let me see how much you understand. Tanaka san, kochira wa arun san desu. Watashi no tomodachi desu. Hajime mashite, yoroshiku. あ、よろしく。アルンさんもインドからですか。はい、そうです。今ラオさんと同じ学校で日本語を勉強しています。あ,あ、そうですか。頑張ってください。田中さん、すみません。太郎くんがあそこからちょっと呼んでいますので、ちょっと行ってみます。あ、どうぞ。Well, how much did you understand? Tell me. I'm sure most of it. Except for this new form and a couple of new words that are here, I will read it out to you once and explain later. This is a dialogue between three people Rao san, Arun san, and Tanaka san. Well, Tanaka san, Kochira wa Arun san desu. Watashi no tomodachi desu. Hajime mashite. Yoroshiku, Yoroshiku. Arun san mo Indo kara desu ka? Hai, so desu. Ima Rao san to onaji gakko de Nihongo o benkyo shite imasu. 
。ああ、そうですか。頑張ってください。田中さん、すみません。太郎くんがあそこから呼んでいますので、ちょっと行ってみます。どうぞ。行ってください。could also be added over here。so well。田中さん、こちら。this person over here is arun san。he is my friend。And of course, the general introduction that you do, hajime mashite, yoroshiku, informal, thus it is yoroshiku over here, otherwise in a formal situation, yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Again, it is a yoroshiku informal, ah, Arun san mo indo kara desu ka? Arun san is from, from India, that is right, hai so desu, ima rao san to onaji gakko de. Onaji is same, similar, same gakko de nihongo o benkyo shite imas. I am studying. Ah, so desu ka. Gambatte kudasai. Well, work hard. Tanaka san sumimasen. I am sorry. Taro kun ga asoko kara yonde imas no de chotto itte mimas. Taro kun. Kun is again informal for san. I think you already know. Ga asoko kara from there. Yonde imas he is calling me. So, because of that, I will go and go and see. I will just go and see what is the matter. And he says, dozo. Again informal. Dozo itte kudasai. Is very, very formal. Well, this is a very general introduction. We will just do it properly. This is in the script. You can see kanji and katakana and hiragana again. And you should practice. Write all this once and you will be more familiar with katakana and hiragana and kanji also. And you can get used to these symbols over here, these kanji characters, some of them. This is a general normal explanation what you would say in English, not a literal translation please, not an exact literal translation of what is written in Roman. Okay. So, now as you have done the te form of the verb, I do not think I need to explain te form to you anymore. We did it in detail last time, but today it is a new form. So, verb in te form plus imas. We have done verb in te form plus kuda sai. Now, this is different. This is a request. Verb in te form is same. Imas is you are doing an activity and activity is in progress. So, continuous action is in imas form. For example, yonde imas or as we are studying over here now, benkyo shite imas or as all of you are at the moment listening to what I am saying, ki ite kite imas or again as i am teaching to you as i am telling a lot of things to you oshiete imas well i am also talking so hana shite imas and again what else can you think of tell me well there's one more i'm standing over here so tatte imas and what are you all doing you're sitting so suwatte imas so i'm sure the same imas form is quite clear now verb in te form plus imas te form we did last time imas is given over here i just 
told you what all it is. So, well you can say a lot of things now, you can talk more freely in Japanese now and convey a lot many things more easily. So, well I will just read it out once, kiite imasu. So, the sound is long over here, kiite imasu, kaette imasu. Gambatte imas, suatte imas, hanashte imas, tabete imas, mite imas, oshiete imas, as I just told you, hanashte imas. For the time being, well, we will just stick to imas form only, verb in te form plus imas. Do this a little later. You can practice, look at the picture and let us see what they are doing. So, the picture shows a man talking on phone, nani o shite imasu ka, denwa o shite imasu. So, please when I, when I speak like this, please try to repeat after me, it will make things very easy and simple, denwa o shite imasu, denwa o suru, then we have Tanaka san working somewhere, shigoto o shite imasu, he is working and then we have Tanaka san reading a paper, so well newspaper, shimbun o yonde imasu and as I told you in the beginning, Tanaka san is always going to be with us here all the time in our class, so any of these pictures will always have Tanaka san with us. Tanaka san is sleeping, so well, ima nete imasu. What is he doing? Well, drinking, ima kocha o nonde imasu. And we have another picture here, writing something, so well, tegami o kaite imasu. So, I am sure as I am speaking like this and you are practicing, the te imas form, the sound of this form is now very clear to you and I am sure you will be able to use it freely now. I think there is more practice, well you have a lot more pictures here, so many of them, lot of people are doing, taking a photograph, taking medicine, playing, watching TV writing a letter, reading paper. So, let us see what it is. Can you tell me? Well, the first one is, nani o shite imasu ka? That is a general question. Nani o shite imasu ka? Shashin and toru. Well, shashin o totte imasu. Tanaka san wa Mariko san no shashin o totte imasu. Kusuri, medicine. Nomu. Kusuri o nonde imasu. Tanaka san wa kusuri o nonde imasu. And the third one is koen asobu. Kodomo tachi wa koen de asonde imasu. Terebi miru. Tanaka san wa uchi de terebi o mite imasu. Then we have tegami kaku, tegami o kaite imasu, Tanaka san wa okaasan ni tegami o kaite imasu. Then shimbun yomu, shimbun o yonde imasu, Tanaka san wa shimbun o yonde imasu. So well you have this over here. In the left column, these words are given, you have these te forms over here in column B. You can make longer sentences by adding what we have done in our previous classes instead of just having this small sentence. So, please try to do that. 
Now, as you can see, the must form of the verb indicates that a certain action is in progress. And as the example is given, you can go over the example and see what it means. Now, in our previous lesson, we did verb in te form plus mite kudasai. Verb in te form plus kudasai. Verb in te form plus another te form kudasai. Verb in te form plus imas. So, now we have done all three. We will try to practice verb in te form plus mite kudasai. This is in a school, gakko de sumimasen. Watashi wa kasa o wasuremashita. Doko de wasuremashita ka? Kyoushitsu ni wasuremashita. Ah, so desu ka? Chotto matte kudasai. Watashi wa kiite mimasu. Sumimasen. Onegai shimasu. So well, you can forget anything anywhere. It could be a kaban, techo, that is your diary, teki, that is your pass, your daily commuters pass, railway pass or your bus pass, saifu, which is your wallet. You could forget it on the table, tsukue no ueni in the jimushitsu, in the shokudo, sensei no heya ni or genkan no mai ni. You could forget it anywhere. And then, denwa de kiite mimasu. I will just talk and see on the phone. Itte mimasu. I will go and see. Shirabete mimasu. I will check and see. So, well, you could replace all of these kasa for kabante cho saifu, tsukue no ue ni kyoshitsu ni. Instead of that, you could have any of these over here and kiite mimasu. You could use any of these forms and practice te mite kudasai. Have a small conversation with your partner and practice. Now, we have been doing counters in our lessons. So, today we will do a new counter, how to count flat objects, how to count flat things. For example, things like sheets, things like folded shirts, CDs or paper, how to count any of these things. So, well, at the post office, what do you do? You have stamps, stamps or envelopes. So, well, those are flat things. How do you count those? So, there is a small dialogue. Sumimasen, juen no kitte onegai shimasu. Nan mai desu ka? Juni mai desu. So, juni mai is, juni is the number and mai is the counter for flat things. Namma is how many do you want? This is in the script. You can see. Well, this is what mai is. You can go over it and see what it means. Examples are kitte yon mai onegai shimasu. Please give me four stamps. Kami san mai onegai shimasu. Please give me three sheets of paper. That is how you count flat objects. And now we can practice. Let us see what it is. Ichimai, ni mai. You can repeat after me. San mai, yon mai, go mai, roku mai, nana mai. Hachi mai, kyu mai, ju mai, 
and nammai. Nammai is for how many CDs or sheets or flat objects. Let us see what we have here. Well, there are some envelopes. So, let us see how many they are. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju. So, you will notice that after the number mai is used. It is easy to remember. You just need to know your numbers and use mai for flat things. Hagaki wa nanmai arimasu ka? Hagaki is postcards, though this also looks like envelopes. So, well, whichever. Hagaki wa nanmai arimasu ka? Jumai desu. We have another picture for you. You have CDs over here. Let us see how many. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju. Ju ichi. So, let us see. CD wa nan mai arimasu ka? Ju ichi mai desu. We have another picture which is e hagaki. Hagaki you already know is postcard. This is picture postcard. So, well, e hagaki wa nan mai desu ka? Ichi ni san shi go. So, again we have go mai desu. You can use this over here, you can use arimas as well. Go mai arimas or go mai this. Well, we have another picture of lot of shirts and some undergarments over here, which is shitagi. So, well, shatsu to shitagi wa nan mai desu ka? Shirts and shitagi. Undershirt wa nan mai desu ka? Well, ju ni mai desu. You can practice like this. Take some objects in your hand, ask your partner or your partner could ask you and you could answer and practice like this. Now, in the beginning, in the conversation, right in the beginning, there was kochira. You have done kore series, kono series and koko series. Kore sore are dore which means this kono sono ano dono means this one over here and koko is for direction. Basically kore is for things, kono is for things and for people and koko is for direction. Well, now this is another series, kochira, sochira, achira and dochira. Now this is similar, but kochira, sochira and achira and dochira tell you about place, about location of a certain person or thing and it is polite. So, well, you can you can practice as was given in the conversation, kochira wa rao san desu, kochira wa arun san desu. This person over here is rao. So, you can practice like this instead of saying kono hito wa rao san desu, kochira wa rao san desu. This is more polite. Now, let us see what expression we have over here? Well, you see some people here and this gentleman pulling at a rope and there was this, there was this uh, expression in the conversation where Tanaka san says, gambatte kudasai. Gambatte kudasai means, well, work hard and as he was studying, well, study very, very hard. Over here he is pulling, it is a sport game. So, well, they are cheering him up and saying, gambare, gambare. Gambare means, come on, pull harder, pull harder in this case. Gambare can be used in a lot of other ways. This is simple cheering someone up by using 
Gambare, gambare, taro kun, gambare. And then the same expression could also be used in a situation like this where Rao san or Tanaka san as our friend is studying very hard and again his parents come and say taro kun, ashita shikenaru kara, gambatte ne, work very hard, study very hard because you have a test tomorrow. So, just to boost someone up, you would say gambare or gambatte kudasai for polite. Verb in te form plus kudasai. Over here, ne because it is his parents and they are just cheering him up. So, gambatte ne, gambatte ne, father is also saying. So, well, this is a nice expression to cheer someone up, to boost someone up, you would say gambatte kudasai or gambatte ne depending on how much younger or formal the situation is. Younger the person is or formal the situation is. Well, as we always do katakana, we will do katakana now. This is the na series. Simple, this is for you to learn the stroke order, it is given very nicely. You can see it again and again and practice at home. Hai na ni. See, this one is small and this one is a little longer. Nu. Ne. And then no. And it starts from here, from top. You have to see that. Please remember the stroke order. You cannot write no from here. Please remember. Na. Ni, nu, ne, and no. You have it all in front of you in one slide, and you can practice. Compare all and practice. Now, we do some kanjis all the time. Today, you have these two kanji characters. You know the words with these kanji characters. You have done my just now and we will just practice the first one which is kami which means paper. One, two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight, nine and ten. So, it is a Ten stroke character. Gummy. And what is the word? We will do the word as well. Over here, we will do the second character, which is my. We will do my, which is one. You make a key like this. You make one like this and it is an eight stroke character. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. My. My. Tegami. Tegami. Gami. Well, the words that you have done with gummy is te gummy. The word is te gummy as is given over here. Just put te over here and it becomes te gummy meaning letter. And nam mai, how many? 
my we did just now, none of course is, we have done none over here earlier, none, none, num, my. So, that is the word, try to remember it with the word and as we go ahead actually kanjis will become a little complicated and also I will be doing kanjis separately properly. These are just kanjis which are coming in the lesson, the words you have done and thus we take up these characters. Now, just look at this proverb and I hope I am not doing what is written over here. Please, I hope that you all are learning a lot of things through these classes and trying to speak Japanese. The proverb says something which is very interesting, uma no mimi ni nembutsu, which you can see over here, it is written very clearly, uma no mimi ni nembutsu, it is a proverb, a Buddhist prayer to a horse to preach in the wilderness. I hope I am not doing that. These classes are helping you and you all are learning something new every day, are able to use it in conversation and are practicing a lot at home. So, well, you have to remember this kotowaza and whenever you are practicing, well, remember me, I hope I am not doing this. It is all helping you. Well, there are, there are lot of things in Japanese that I would like to share with you. Lot about culture, I try to tell you different things in, in class over here, we do different things, we take up festivals, we talk about culture, what is done in Japan, what is famous about Japan. Well, today something I want to tell you about the language. In English, we use the word you very um, commonly and uh, the word you, the pronoun you is used for anyone. It could be for someone who is older to you, it could be for someone who is younger to you, that besides you is used. So, well in Japanese of course, the equivalent is anata, but one thing we have to remember is that Anatha is not used so freely in Japan, even though we practice anatha over here in class, when we are using you in our minds, we always say anatha, but in Japanese, please remember that always you have to use the miyoji or the surname or the given name of the person and not address anyone as anatha. Anata over here in class is all right, for practice is all right, for knowing that you is anata in Japanese is all right, but not using it so freely in the language and especially to people who are older to you in rank, in age, in position, you will try not to use anata. Another interesting thing that we do in English is Hello, how are you? We use this phrase very freely in English. Anytime you meet someone on the road or anywhere, hello, how are you? So, well, fine, thank you. But there is a phrase like this in Japanese, oh, o genki desu ka, which also means how are you? Hello, how are you? Konnichiwa, o genki desu ka? Meaning, hello, how are you? But it is a little different from the hello, how are you of English because over here, genki desu ka also means, are you in good health? I hope you are in good health. How are you doing? So, if you are meeting someone every day, if, if you are meeting in the morning, in the afternoon, you could just say hello all the time or konnichiwa, which is hello all the time, but using ogenki desu ka all the time is a little odd because 
if you meet that person every day, you meet that person regularly, you know that he is in good health. So, please when you are using this phrase, ogenki desu ka, be very sure when and where and how you are using it. Like you can see over here, you have this, this gentleman, they meet on the road, this person is eating ice cream and he is taking his dog for a walk and konnichiwa is the general expression that you would use, konnichiwa and he also says konnichiwa and then this gentleman probably Rao san and not a Japanese says ogenki desu ka and he is completely dazed because they are meeting almost every day and he is dazed and he does not know what to say. The reason being that that is not done all the time. You are not to ask people you meet every day or in office, in school or while going for shopping, you will not ask ogenki desu ka all the time. Please remember those two things, they are very, very important. Also in, in English, you say good morning to everybody. Well, the reason you would generally not say good morning or hello in Japanese all the time would be because in Japanese when you say hello or good morning, you generally bow you generally stand in a place and then you sort of bend, which is not the case in English. It is very, very casual. You would just raise your hands and say, hello, how are you or good morning. And in Japanese, it is a little different. Thus, all the time, you would not say hello or ohayou gozaimasu or konnichiwa. You have to stand and do it. So, one has to be very, very careful. Now we have vocabulary over here, shitagi, the meanings are given, shitagi, hagaki, futo, eyameru, kanabo, uma, nembutsu, shukan, Ehagaki, kami, hashiru, shokki. So, we have this vocabulary for you. You can practice it at home. And now, your work begins, the class is over, your work begins, you have lot of, lot of homework to do, lot of shukudai number of assignments what we have done in class. Well, how do you count stamps for one? The picture is here. There are lot of things in the picture. You can count those things and tell. Tick the correct word in the brackets. Then you have your kanji practice and you need to pick out the correct particle from the brackets then make good sentences and well, I think that would do for today. There is lot of work for you. You have to go over the lesson, you have to do your, your uh, assignments, practice, practice with your partner, do your conversation and well, we will meet again soon, do something new again in our next class. Till then, so minasan, mata ashita aimashou. ありがとうございます。Thank you.